Well hello and welcome to another tutorial video from the Computer Techie and today we'll be looking at setting up link aggregation on a Netgear switch in particular this one, this is a, a GS724T um, it's a 24 port gigabit Netgear switch so what you want to do is you want to go up to the, your switching tab once you've logged into the web management panel you then want to go to lag standing for link aggregation and then you'll come to this page you can set three link aggregations on the Netgear switch this one in particular um, so click one Normally they'll be lag main la named lag one, lag two, lag three, and lag four. I've changed the name of this one. So click say lag one. You give it an ID of lag one, and then if you click this down arrow here, you'll then see the ports. So you want to assign some ports for your link aggregation. The X's mean that they're assigned. If I click port 19, it will unassign it click port 19 it will assign it again so I can set up say 18 to 22 that would be a 5 gig port channel or link aggregation channel between another device that I have so you can change the name of whatever it's called and then come down to the bottom right and click apply that will apply the link aggregation you can also, if you really wanted to, click current members. You'll get a new window and it will tell you the current members of that link aggregation. But the point of that is, I don't really understand the point of that button, being as you can just look by doing that. And if you go over here to lag membership, you can again change things more or less the same as the lag configuration. So that is really it, that is how you set up link aggregation on the Netgear GS724T. Um, there are other things, but that's the one that you want to change. So, if this has helped you out in any way in finding out how to set up your link aggregation on this Netgear switch, then please go ahead and give that thing a thumbs up. If you thought this was absolute crap, go and uh, press thumbs down. And if you've got any comments, questions, or whatever you, go and write that down in the comments box below. And I'll try and answer anything that anyone asks. So, I will see you guys in the next video. And please make sure you subscribe for more tutorials and techie stuff.